In April 2022, we bought a sailboat. Jana is a Hubbard Rassi Monsoon 31 built in Sweden. Her previous owners, Peter and Janika, lived aboard for over 13 years around Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. They wrote about all their adventures here. www.clubgo.net So let's give a quick tour. That's the cockpit. This is the galley. That's where the engine is. There's access from there and there to the engine. That's the chart table. And inside here is the lazarette storage. Little seat. There's a long berth here and chair there. Chair here. And then over here used to be a toilet, but there's no toilet right now. We have one porthole here that can open, this one can't. And we have a hatch here at the V berth. A lot of sails. Not too much stuff that we have to sort out. She needs a good cleaning. And yeah, she's our little, little tiny boat. Look at those dragonflies over there. Flying in the sun. We live in our camper van right beside our sailboat for two months in order to focus on getting our boat ready for launch. Boat yards are not the best places to live because of fiberglass sanding and anti-foul paint residue left behind on the ground. Since becoming boat owners, it has been an intensive couple of months and we are extremely motivated and eager to lift this boat yard. The last screw is always the hardest. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange I'll be the best above all the way We launched Sailing Yard Wujud 27 July 2022 and it was with the help of a dear friend, coach, mentor, and now neighbor. In today's video, we are still in mid-July tackling the job of starting our boat's engine ourselves while our boat is on the hard stand. Good morning, so today we are finally tackling the engine. Renee has been preparing for this day and it's finally come and what are we doing first Rene? nothing major we won't be servicing like changing the engine oil or gearbox oil or even the uh, so-called uh, heat exchanger because we just want to get started and uh, try to get to our next destination um, so first thing first the engine oil we need to check if it's actually in between so it's somewhere there, it's a bit low, I think. 15W40 is what is recommended, and this is also used by the previous owner. Our engine is a Volvo Penta D130, and by reading manuals and having numerous conversations with Joe of Blueprint Garage, Marine Engine Mechanic Zaman, as well as the previous owner Peter, we were able to prepare our engine for the big launch. After I check that now, I need to go on to the next one which is the gearbox oil. Same thing to check if the gearbox has enough. So this is minimum, this is max, so it has to be in between. And then when you put it in, you don't put it all the way back home. So just lift on top and it has to be somewhere there. This is all written in the manual. So I'm gonna dip it in and look. So it's perfect, it's half. You can see that, right? So yeah, so gearbox is okay to go. I won't be changing it. I won't be replacing the oil. I just wanna start. But probably I have to top out a little bit on the engine oil. Maybe a little bit more after I double check. 
after all that we're gonna check on the water strainer this is aftermarket by groco peter the previous owner put it here so then you have water being filtered before going through the engine i think it's excellent yeah we already cleaned it they get to share it's pretty simple you just have to turn the top and lift up this filter and clean it clean your water filter at home yeah just uh, double protection <laughs> And then when you close this, it's just hand tight. Don't use any kind of wrench whatsoever because you know you get get seized otherwise. The knowledge I have is basically help from Peter and some friends, and of course the manual. Thank you guys. Good job, Renee. Keep half going. Half full, half empty. Half full. If you stop me, all empty. this will run back into the tank. Uh, Keep going. Somebody help me. Morning, guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys where I walk to buy breakfast. It's quite far from where we are. Uh, once in a while, we eat this nasi lemak that's wrapped with daun pisang. It's a Malay traditional way of... Uh, selling nasi lemak I kind of like it because they don't have plastics and uh, stuff with it so and I'm gonna show you where we got it from Bye, thank you okay thank you what oh what's that mackerel look at this wow oh, we caught yesterday and then we cooked. have check out our breakfast yep and then this is our breakfast okay there's two types one is nasi lemak of course not gonna be enough for me and then the other one is this is uh, sticky rice or they call it pulut surrounding this is two ringgit two ringgit and four fish ringgit. fish you catch lah girl is four or five ringgit and Coffee is ours, latte. Yeah, latte and our favorite fruits here in Billion, they sell this dragon fruit. 129. The dragon fruit is 129 and that's when we buy it. And then it goes up to 350, that's when we don't buy it. Day 100 and I don't know what. Today we are trying to start the engine and we are checking on why the fuel is not going into the fuel pump. So we've undone this hose and we blew, I mean no, we sucked, trying to suck out fuel from the, direct from the tank. Now we're troubleshooting to see if this hose is the problem. Drag diesel. Put the hose clamps back on, now let's try pumping. Okay, so now I'm doing the pumping and Renee we asked him to put his thumb on the hole and now we keep pumping it's going powerfully so we do this yep and now it's going in really fast <laughs> yay ah. okay now we're trying to bleed here from the pump Manuel says unlock it Why so tight? We are trying a different tool because the screwdriver is not working with a top wrench. That's how we opened it. Ooh, not diesel, a screwdriver. Diesel, 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 diesel. Back to pumping? Yeah. 
make sure there's no bubble now see there's bubble yeah Ooh, we don't want bubble yo oh so let the air out then. yeah you wanna go in jump over Rene go on jump you can do it just do it go on jump you can do it just jump over here okay successfully bled the engine hope so Tighten it now. Tighten it back, okay. So the plan is once the uh, impeller is already out, it's already out, we have to clean all this area for the new gasket to go in and then clean this up a bit. Try not to sand, I think, because then you try not to don't want the ship to move too much from its original and then put the gasket in put the impeller in and then we can close it close it so what I'm trying to do is to remove this old gasket try it on the finer sandpaper there is slowly remove the old gasket and see what happens and then from there if once it's smooth we place with a new gasket with the gasket maker so after sanding and then wire brush so it's pretty flush. So remove that and then this is the cover which I already skim it, sand it and now putting the basket it comes with this impeller lubricant glycerin and then I have this gasket maker so new impeller, sure. and of course the new impeller from Volvo gasket new gasket here <coughs> Next, we are filling water. Water, water, water. Not fuel, huh? Don't put wrong, huh? Send me. Okay. So now we need to see if the seat will wait. Seat cup is still close. Excuse me, Sky. Seat cup is closed. Closed? Yep, closed. Go into the impeller to push the water in. I'm going to show you the contraption we did because we're on a hard stand right now and usually when you start the engine you should be in the water and because there's a water intake from one of our seacocks and since we're on a hard stand this is what we did. So 100 plus bottle funnel to the water strainer and that goes to the engine. Okay, we're gonna try this. Nervous. No. So press the glow. Okay, let go. All our water standing by. Let, let go. go. And then start.
that's it for today's video thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one where we show you the little jobs that we did working up towards the launch day and the actual launch itself uh boss can you open this for me boss i need to take out the broken impeller and then put gasket and then we can put it back in so that we can uh, put diesel in and try and start the engine how much ah? Huh?